What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and there are some exciting new costumes in the Legend Summon, so let's talk about them. But first, join me over in Gemstone Legends. It's a fantastic match 3 RPG game, and it's players that get in early on games like this that are at the biggest advantage. Not only will you help the channel out by using the link in the description of this video, but you're going to get a free epic hero named Moralia along with a bunch of gold, gems, and potions. After you download the game, you'll have access to events which will get you even more amazing heroes and loot. Guys, wow, you don't want to miss this opportunity because you do not get it in the regular app store. Download it now, and I will see you in Gemstone Legends. All right, so these costumes that are currently featured are for some of my all-time favorite heroes in Empires and Puzzles. I have all three of these regular heroes. I don't have the costume. I would love to have these costumes. I think all the costumes are good, and two in particular are great. So if you're going to summon for Legends, I think now is the time. These Heroes of the Month really do need these costume updates because they're starting to become a little underpowered compared to what they're coming out with now, with the Season 3 and Season 4 heroes. Here's the problem. So the Season 3 and Season 4 heroes are ultra hard to get, but so are these Legend summons. So if we look at the summon chance... Um, there's a 1% chance for the featured costumes here. Now, there are three costumes, so you do have to summon 100 times before you can expect to maybe get one of these. Uh, but since they're all pretty good, then I would say, and this is what I do because I don't just go, you know, summoning every event. I, I wait until there's a good chance to get something you want, and I think this is a really good one for that. But don't expect anything because it's not like it's that much easier to get one of these legends as compared to season three or season four hero. Um, but if they're trying to make them about as powerful as those, it kind of makes sense. So let's take a look at Athena first. Of course, she's a five star blue hero. And the art on this costume is so good. I want this costume so bad. Not only because Athena is a great hero who's useful in so many different circumstances, but uh, this is just a cool one to collect. Uh, she's a barbarian when you put the costume on her, part of the 2017 family. So if you have one, two, or three of these heroes, you get a 5, 10, or 15% mana generation bonus. There's a bonus for two plus heroes. Elemental link affects all allies, which is really cool. I think that's a really underrated effect. So um, anytime you can generate mana... Uh, and uh, do Elemental Link for everybody. Uh, it's just amazing. And then the costume bonus, of course, here is 3% for attack, 3% for defense, and 6% for health, and 1% for mana bonus. There's a lot of mana generation going on here. Pay attention to that because it takes an average speed hero like Athena to potentially make her fast. Um, I mean, it already can with the level 23 mana troops, but uh, you know, the higher the mana troops and the more of a mana effect you get here, the faster she becomes, especially on defense, where it's a little more incremental um, than on offense, where one tile equals a certain amount of mana. All right, she's got 750 attack. That's really good because she's an aggressive hero. 718 defense is actually a little on the lower end now, but the HP is very good at 1440. Athena's arrow is the special. It deals 290% damage to the target and minor damage to the nearby enemies. One of my pet peeves in Empires and Puzzles, they never tell you how much the minor damage is. Um, but it is calculable if you uh, go and play with this and um, see what it's going to be. Uh, the target and nearby enemies get negative 41% defense and a further negative 4% decrease every time they are hit for three turns. That is what makes this special so good. And that is a lot of decreased defense. All fire enemies get negative 34% defense against ice for three turns so athena was already good with that defense down effect and now you're going to throw on top of it this particular effect um that's really really good now um i would think this would be useful if you're taking it on offense of course against a red tank but you're probably going to beat the red tank with blue tiles anyway uh, but this makes going against red flanks particularly good as well so I like to go 3-2 in my offensive matchups where I take 3 of one and 2 of another color. 
well, this would be good in a 3-2 matchup where maybe you go with the two blues. Like maybe you have a purple or a yellow tank or something like that. Uh, and so you bring like three of the strong color and then two minor color. I like Athena in that spot because then if there's a fire flank, it's a little bit easier to defeat that enemy. And then we have Elemental Link gives all ice allies plus 15% attack and 15% defense for six turns. That's quite a bit, and that's a long time. This effect can't be dispelled. So I already thought Athena was an A, and in fact, um, I think she was an A before they made the costume. She was sort of trending towards A-, minus, but this just solidly puts her back in A territory. So Athena's an A. Next up, we have Drake Fong, and now he is a fighter. And that's really good because fighter is probably the best class. You probably know um, when you've seen heroes on defense uh, how annoying it is to actually kill these guys. Uh, he's part of the 2018 family, um, and so they get a bonus to defense for one, two, or three heroes. It's either 10, 15, or 20% defense. And then if you have the two or more heroes, you get the elemental link affecting all allies. And of course, the costume bonus, which we just went through on Athena as well. Uh, Drake has 759 attack. That is really good. 727 defense and 1416 HP. That is good. Fabled Fist is a fast special. It deals 240% damage to the target and nearby enemies. The target and nearby enemies get negative 50% accuracy for three turns. Chance to miss also applies to offensive special skills. The effect duration resets if the target is healed. That's really cool. Let's see how that compares to the other one. So on the other one, they got negative 35% accuracy. So this is a huge increase in the inaccuracy. Uh, chance to miss also applies to offensive special skills, but you, you notice that the text about healing is not there. So this special is doing a whole lot more. It's blinding for more. Uh, this one's three turns. The past one was three turns. Gosh, this costume's so much more powerful than the original hero. Um, and then resetting the effect duration if the target's healed that's sticky that you know that that is going to um last a while and i think they made drake fong to really uh power up to dr moreau's level um they're very very similar heroes except now we have one in yellow and one in purple uh, elemental link gives all holy allies plus five percent attack and plus five percent defense for six turns this effect can't be dispelled now drake fong is already good already used a lot in empires and puzzles history He's solid. I would not say he's an A, though, because he's not useful in every single circumstance. Um, but now that they've made the costume, which is a fighter, and uh, can make that inaccuracy last forever if the opponent is healing, um, I think that just brings Drake up to an A. So I'm going to go ahead and give Drake an A as well. Um, let's check out the last hero here who is a Lacey. She's a rogue. <laughs> Fighter and rogue are like the best classes. Uh, so she's going to be really, really tough to kill. Uh, and she was a ranger before. So that's the change here. And again, the art. I absolutely love the art. Here's another one I'm like super jealous of. I wish I had. Oh, man. All right, but Rogue class is going to cause special skills to miss. 2018 family uh, is the same that Drake was. And then we've got the costume bonus as well. 752 attack is good. 733 defense is solid. 1,427 HP is also very, very solid. Arrow of Nujalik is the special. It is fast. And remember, um, the mana speeds as well on the, on the different bonuses up there. All right, um, she deals 412% uh, damage, which is a lot when you consider the attack, to the target minor damage to the nearby enemies. And that's the big difference here with the damage is that the old Alacy was just a straight up sniper. But this one is dealing minor damage to the nearby enemies. And that is incredible. Reduces the mana of the target and nearby enemies by 20%. This is like uh, Guinevere, if you remember her. Now, I played basically since the beginning of time. So I remember when Guinevere tanks were all over the place and reduced mana. And that can be a really strong effect. Um, really hard to beat. But that's not all. The target nearby enemies get negative 24% mana generation for three turns. This effect can't be cleansed. 
that was the effect that was on the old costume. So if we go back to the old costume, uh, target nearby enemies get negative 24% mana generation for three turns. They just stuck it back on this one, but then they also gave a mana reduction. You know, like, has there been a hero? I can't remember off the top of my head where a hero actually reduced the mana and slowed it down at the same time. Wow. This is going to be really, really good, especially in the different raid formations. Um, you can really kind of just like sticker in the back or maybe even off to the side in the front, depending on like how you want to uh, arrange things here. And uh, she's going to be really hard to deal with. I can imagine we're going to see her showing up in wars too, because this is a hero that's going to keep you from playing. And I hate playing against heroes like that. I really hate seeing effects like this on defense and it's super annoying and I know I'm going to hate facing her, but I would love having her. She is, um, she's got the potential to be a little overpowered. Uh, we'll see because she can be used on both offense and defense this way. Anyway, um, elemental link gives, gives all ice allies plus 5% attack and plus 5% defense for six turns. This effect can't be dispelled. And I think she's primarily going to be used on defense. Uh, well, that's where she's going to be best, but of course she's going to be used on offense. This effect is amazing on offense as well. You can use her against the Titan. You can use her in tournaments. You can use her everywhere. Now, a pluses are not a part of my grading scale. A is the highest thing I give ever. So she's an A. But boy, am I tempted to give her an A plus because she's that amazing. So uh, taking a look at the three heroes we have here, I would say the absolute excellent great ones are Athena or a Lacey. But as you saw, I just gave them all A's. So I think you cannot go wrong with this legend summon. If you've been saving up gems, now's a really time, a good time to go after these. So good luck to those of you who go after them. Uh, let me know in the comments if you get one and how they are and what you think. If you enjoy videos like this, please consider giving it a like, subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.